when did we get into tear each other down business? The content of Cat Williams' heated chat with Shannon Sharp on the Ladders Club Shay Shay podcast is well known. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. He attacked a number of his fellow comedians, such as Tiffany Haddish, Michael Blackson, Kevin Hart, and Cedric the Entertainer. Additionally, he accused Steve Harvey of taking the idea for the Steve Harvey show from Hang In with Mr. Cooper, which was hosted by Mark Curry. Because you ain't never heard me say not a disparaging remark against another comedian nowhere. Harvey now seems to have spoken to Williams once more, this time during an episode of Black Comedy in America on Vice TV. This time, he adopted a similar stance, claiming that he had no intention of discrediting other performers. Cause we, cause we ain't cut from that cloth. So why are you? What is your motive? He explained. Harvey continued, noting how he has plenty of opportunities to speak poorly of others, but simply chooses not to. I don't do that. I ain't got no minutes for you, man. I'm not in the tear down business. You will never have a hater that's doing better than you. Always know that. Harvey made a comment to Stephen A. Smith about Williams. He then made light of his fighting prowess and said, I still not feel one today. And then he gets this high top fade, making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business. As for Williams' fiery criticism, he accused Harvey of stealing his jokes from other comedians. And it's a man unit. Then you ask it, why you not a movie star? I didn't want to be a movie star. This the same Negro that hated on Bernie with this same thing. You couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asked for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. You have to have range. Tyree squeezed in some promotion for his new album, Beautiful Pain, during his week-long press tour for the upcoming movie 1992. R&B artist recently went on a tirade on Instagram, criticizing his ex-wife Samantha Lee for not extending an apology to him in their more than four years of divorce, even though he has been singing and screaming about the suffering she has given him. I ain't releasing no album called Beautiful Pain because because I just felt like F King with my ex and singing all these songs about how I feel and how I'm feeling about what I lived and experienced cause she left me out the blue. He said during a Wednesday Instagram live session. Y'all seen all the interviews, you know the only person that ain't call me to say I'm sorry. I guess all these feelings that you cause don't F King matter, he added. I'm not playing victim, I'm a grown a man. I'm coming up on four years of posting, venting, talking, releasing songs and singles and ain't nobody called me to say I'm sorry. And a lot of us be giving attention to people, places and things that we are no longer at. Since then, Lee has subtly responded, taking to social media to encourage her followers to actively move toward the future while letting go of the past. Meaning you're still giving them a currency you can't get back. She did this by rapidly using her own life as an example. A lot of us be giving attention to people, places, and things that we are no longer at. Meaning you're still giving them a currency they can't give back. Because the more time that you decide to give somebody that you are not with, your intention, the longer you stay attached to a situation you're trying to leave. Don't keep watching what your ex is doing, she went on. That's a world of pain and distress. I'm not watching what my past is doing. It's my past. We leave that behind. Okay. We move forward. My future is greater than my past. I just got another letter from her lawyer requesting that I send over all of my tax returns. In addition, a lot of their back and forth in court is around alleged defamatory remarks made by one party to the other, in addition to disagreements over payments and asset distributions. And all of my bank statements because she's trying to get 20000 and I think they're trying to take it up to like forty. The actor and singer's monthly payments to Lee following the eventual finalization of their divorce, however, however, are the subject of the most recent update. And they've been looking at all of my movies and all of the concerts and shows that I've been doing over there like blood-sucking lawyers rubbing their hands. He also alleges that she is attempting to extract even more money from him with the help of her legal team. These comes after the Los Angeles native returned to the breakfast club and sobbed as he discussed these and other hardships. Samantha's doing the same thing, rubbing her hands and they going, oh shit. For the last year and a half, he looked like he's been doing really well. Let's go ahead and get those bank statements over here so we can figure out a way to get this law firm another $600,000 they were asking for in legal fees. Tyrese went on. It's a dirty, dirty game out here. Well, y'all won't keep waiting. Y'all pray for me because I am hearing that the appeals court around my case my divorce case is being appealed. And they are going to give me the outcome of my appeal August 25th. I'm doing the best I can with every 24 hours I get. After a few earlier run-ins, Tyrese returned to the breakfast club, and the outcome has fans overjoyed. However, that's not because this new conversation conversation was amusing, humorous, or simple. Instead, it was as a result of the sincerity and intensity with which he opened up about his divorce, his sadness, and his present state of mind. That's not to suggest, of course, that it was all thoughtful looks and crying, because the radio hosts and the multi-hyphenate both laughed throughout. To get through. I love you, I love you, black man. Okay, do you not cry? Generally, fans are glad to see him back and in good spirits with the group. 
He even gave Charlemagne the god an embrace at one point. Maybe not the entire crew, though. In case you missed it, Tyree stated that, as part of their ongoing feud, DJ Envy attempted to ban him from the Breakfast Club last week. Their problems, which have plagued them for the past year, are related to the way they have spoken about each other's relationships and their personal bond. Since it's one man's word against another, it's difficult to pinpoint the precise cause of all this. Still, Envy reportedly didn't say anything during this Breakfast Club interview, and many wonder whether he was even in the studio. Elsewhere, Tyree's also clapped back at folks hating on his recent and controversial national anthem performance, and flaunted the success of his new album. Thank you you're always welcome here respectfully, he responded to a social media troll. I don't really know if I agree few bad notes. Me that's an open mic for you God is the greatest we live in the best county in the world and I really really tried. My website crashed, Tyrese continued. I'm sorry please go to Tyrese TV and try one more time to get onto the site. I'm so sorry. I've never had this many people on my side at one time Tyrese TV less than 30 days of the release of hashtag beautiful pain sorry. Teddy Marvin Donnie Wonder Gibson is my name smile it's a vibe.